Thank you, Kim. It's 838. And ladies and gentlemen, live in the studio, we've been awaiting this visit. Delta Goodrum is here. Hey, Delta. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Haven't she got the loveliest smile? No, she is just the loveliest girl in the world. <laughs> you really are all of what? 19? 19. That's right. Yeah. So am I. Anyway, uh, you are, uh, you've been in show business for a long time, like seven? Yeah, that's right. What did, now, you're from Australia. Yeah. And what did you start out uh, doing? A little acting for commercials or what? Yeah, I mean, I started when I was about seven doing all the TV shows, and I, I landed a role in a series for a little while. And then, yeah. And saved up my mommy, my money, sorry, to do a um, demo city when I was about 12 years old, so I started to do my music. That is when you did that. It, 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 you, I guess kids in high school or, or in junior high were going, what are you going to do? You're going to write music? You're going to be a singer? Yeah. And, and you know, just it was kind of something I just knew that this was what I wanted to do, and I, and I loved it. And, and my parents were so, they just really encouraged me and said, okay, if you want to do singing, Delta, then, then go after it. And then, and work hard. That was basically it. I said, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. So my parents are really supportive of that. That's good. Even Thank you for the support of your parents. It really is. Yeah, it really fantastic. is. She's a star all over the world. She is. <laughs> she and, really uh, is. A, your CD is doing unbelievably thank well. Thank you very much. We're going to hear from Delta in just a moment. Yeah. But first, here's Celine Dion. Do you like Celine Dion? I do very much so. This is you and I. Two Canadian. She's she a good one. Canadian. <laughs> You're looking at two bad Canadians right now. Right. But she's a good one. <laughs> That's Celine Dion on Chum FM, and Celine Dion would be, she would be jealous to find out that you are the biggest selling Australian artist of all time, Delta Goodrum. Delta. Oh, she has a try. Isn't that amazing? That's fantastic. Yeah. At 19 Thank years you. of age. Over Thank a million you. records sold in Australia, two million records sold worldwide. Your album is 14 times platinum in Australia. Those are phenomenal statistics. They are. They really embrace my music day, so it was really, it was a wonderful feeling. Yeah. Boy, and then your second album. There's going to be a lot of pressure on you for your <laughs> yeah, second yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's start now. Oh, sure. <laughs> no, I have started now, so it's good to start writing right. again. Let us talk about your health. Yes. Let us talk about, was it a year ago, mm-hmm. that uh, things really turned for you? Yes, it's fine. So do you want to walk, uh, walk us through yeah, that course? Yeah, of course. Um, well, yeah, it was, it was probably nearly, I think next month it'll be a year ago that I, yeah. I did. I got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a form of cancer, and then I, I spent the year, I had to stop doing music, stop doing work, and then concentrate on getting my health back and doing treatment. And it, the interesting thing from what I've read about you, too, is like this is a girl that works really, really hard. She felt really, really tired. She was mm-hmm. going, you know, 24-7. You got this rash. They gave you medication. The rash went away. Mm-hmm. You, you keep going. You keep working. You yes, know, you keep right. working. I know. Well, you don't, at you the don't time, think. you don't think about it. You yeah. just kind of go, you know what? I, I, it's okay. Everything takes priority. It's like, yeah. no, 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 I've, I've got to do this performance. I'll just, and you suppress it, you suppress it, mm-hmm. and try and ignore the fact that you're having night sweats, all these symptoms that yeah. when you look back are so obvious, but they're just not at the time. And you're working out in the gym, you're doing these sit-ups, mm-hmm. and then what happens, Delta? Well, I, I noticed that there was a lump on my neck, and I sort of felt it, and it just felt really abnormal, and you just, take note and then and go away and then mm-hmm. I've checked it out at the doctors and they said oh, it's just a swollen gland and then they said it's a one in ten chance of course it could be something else and I thought hmm you know you just it just registers and then mm-hmm. it got bigger and bigger and, and that's when you went and to see a specialist see. and there was lots of different things that were going on and right. I started to get really tired and, and all sorts of things and then finally I, just, I got home after a really busy week and and um, my parents took one look at me and said we're going to the hospital and, and I got biopsies and tests and then basically within a week the whole of Australia had, had knew that something was going down. And that was that you had it in your, your throat? I had, I had some tumors in my neck in and neck. then I had to have an operation to get them out. And well, when they diagnosed you within 24 hours you had the operation. Yeah, that's right. It, it happens amazing. so quick to people. Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden your whole world just turns upside down. Mm-hmm. I had the number one single and album in the country and I had the number two album in the United Kingdom and it was it was like it was such a big week because we'd done so much work and I was getting about two hours sleep tops every single night. It was wow. kind of like a nap. And um and just because I was really I'm very passionate about my work mm-hmm. so I tended to just be like do. let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, it's okay, I'll I'll sleep next yeah. week or and then the interesting thing that I heard what you said was then in everything, you know, everything said a fever pitch and everything stopped. Stopped completely. So then what happens? You have the operation. Well, um so the Monday you have the biopsies and yeah. the tests and the blood tests and, and then the Tuesday they say we have to have an operation the next day, please fast tonight. The Wednesday you have the operation, Thursday recover, Friday they tell you have you have cancer and then and then they explain all these options and then you have to find out to what extent you, you have. So basically my whole 
yeah, my whole, I just stopped. I had to call call neighbours and say, I'm not coming to work on Wednesday and yeah. and call, speak to all my Sony Music team and say, I can't do anything, we've got to stop. And and then concentrate on my health because if you don't have that, you don't have anything. And, and rally myself with my family and friends. Wow, and they were there for you. Oh, oh so totally. And I, people like Elton John, Olivia Newton-John, calling indeed. you up with great support. Olivia, of course, going through breast cancer. Yeah. I was, um, you know, it was, I did not expect at all, like, that amount of support. And I started to think, you know what, like, there's people out there that go through this who don't have as much support. And right. so I know everything happens for a reason. And the fact that I got this is maybe hopefully just telling people, like, maybe a different sign now. I can help other people and give them something back as well. So, what, so what is the status now for you? The status? You well, you know, I'm feeling feeling really positive and just feeling a lot healthier. And, and my hair's growing back. I like the hair short. <laughs> On the album, it's, it's a long and longer. longer. <laughs> but I look at her and I want to put some of it. I like it short. Thank it's you. Cute. <laughs> well, you look great. You Thank you very much. Let's hear how you sound. Yeah. Zelda's going to sing for us. Oh. More to try? I'm going to be lost without you this morning. Oh, okay. That's the second single? Second single. Here we go. Zelda's Bedroom. Okay. 